Hey guys, and welcome to Quick Hits. In Quick Hits, we're going to take a shorter look, or a quicker look if you will, at some mods that I've done, and some other projects that I think are pretty cool and totally worth sharing. Today, we're going to take a look at two custom modded GameCubes that turned out absolutely badass and I just felt the need to share with everybody. And you're going to want to stick around to the end because we're going to do some video comparison footage as always and we're also going to take a look at some of the homebrew that's available for the GameCube. Stick around to the end and we'll take a detailed look at it. I love the way the purple and black just kind of blend together on this GameCube, it looks absolutely awesome. The other thing I'm really happy about is the customer was absolutely pushing me to get the RGB LEDs put in, and I'm super happy that they did. In putting in these LEDs and taking the time to do it, I figured out a more efficient way to do it going forward, which I might just have to share with everyone in a future how-to video. But anyway, this thing turned out absolutely awesome, and I'm super happy, and I hope Xander enjoys it. So I take absolutely no credit for this beautiful Spice Orange Smash Bros themed console. I mean this was absolutely the customer's idea and I had very little to do with it. They told me exactly what they wanted and it turned out absolutely awesome. Having said that, let's take a look at some gameplay and let's turn this system on. So what you're looking at is F-Zero GX. And before we get off on any video comparison here, let me just say that this game is absolutely awesome. And Nintendo, if you're listening in any way, shape, or form, please, please bring this series back. Anyway, you can kind of see the composite. Extremely muddy. Looks terrible. Let's flip to HDMI. Let's see how that looks in 480p. Not really much analysis you need to do here. It's pretty obvious that HDMI looks a heck of a lot better. So what you're looking at here is Swiss, you know, it's basically your front end for your GameCube. And this will allow you to do everything from play Homebrew, to play GameCube ISOs, uh, to play ROMs and emulators, whatever you want to do. So just for example's sake, I'm going to load up a game here. I'm not going to actually play the game or show you any gameplay footage, but just show you that it works. Next let's fire up some of the emulators. My choice is Super Nintendo, and my game of choice is Dracula X. The actual emulators themselves seem to work really well. The Super Nintendo one feels great, has save states, has load states, has different options. You are obviously running this in progressive mode through HDMI, and honestly it just feels really good for an emulator. Next we're going to take a really quick look at Game Boy Interface. Game Boy Interface is homebrew, it's a replacement for the Nintendo Game Boy software. 
and it's actually far superior to it. If you guys are interested in a deeper dive into the Game Boy interface, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments below. It's definitely something I wouldn't mind doing an in-depth tutorial on. Nothing like playing Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color over HDMI on your TV. It's pretty sweet. So anyway guys, let me know what you think about the first episode of Quick Hits. Let me know if it's something that you think I should be continuing to do on a go forward basis. But uh, with all that being said, that'll take care of this video. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next one.